give you that. Because you're toxic. <laughs> no, dang, toxic. And you That's like classic movies. And you like these grand gestures. Of, yes, I'm a romantic. A foolishness. No. Like, I don't even think it's romantic. I think it's, it's creepy a sweet as hell. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tia. And I'm Ebony. And this is The L Way. The L Way. Before we get into today's content, guys, please make sure you do the L thing, which is like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Full disclosure, guys, if you hear a puppy in the background crying, that's our kiddo, Canvas. He's not in any distress. He just wants to get out of his home so he can come be nosy and So run we're going to jump straight into today's content, guys. This is part two of Worst Black Classic Movies, the series. We have three more left. Today is going to be part two. So do you want to do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first? Let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. Cheater. Whatever. All right. So that means I'll I'll go first. Yep. So um my worst black classic movie is Eve's by you. <laughs> I hate that movie. <laughs> Not hate the movie. I mean, I just think that it's it's so weird and like part of it is okay, right? Like one of the reasons why I think it's weird is because Samuel Jackson is not a hot dad. <laughs> I'm just saying though. In that movie, he was supposed to be the hot dad, right? He was not the hot dad to me. So that's I'm starting off, I'm coming out the gate. Coming in hot. Coming in gate. Coming in hot. You know, so yeah, so Samuel Jackson, I don't know why, you know. He doesn't seem like the hot dad. I get the appeal, you know. I just thought that that was a weird angle. <laughs> <laughs> like that he was the hot dad. Um, that's reason number one. Reason number two is I don't like the stereotype that they put on New Orleans, like with the voodoo and all. And it, it's true to a certain extent. Yeah. It's very true. But I'm like, I just feel like it was so, like, typical. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you got voodoo and then the good little girl. You know what I'm saying? I just thought it was, I thought it was too obvious looking at it now. Full disclosure, guys, I lived in New Orleans for about seven years of my life. And so Eve's Bayou, like the voodoo, the history, the culture there, like that is that is New Orleans, though. Like, I know, it but... really is New Orleans. Like, depending on the, where you go at in New Orleans, like the typical tourist place, like um, Canal Street, places like that, that's not, I'm not going to say it's not the real New Orleans. It's definitely a taste of New Orleans, but it gets deep. Like, it, it, it gets deep. It gets creepy. It definitely gets voodoo ish. For sure, there are some witches that absolutely live in New Orleans, and I can see why. But um, yeah, and I mean that's fine. But I'm like, if you're gonna do all that, you might as well just make it a scary movie. Like that could have been on some Jordan Peele. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't. Yeah, I just, I just feel like it should have been a scary movie if you add all those elements to it. But maybe that was the angle. Like, I man, no, I don't think that was supposed to be. I don't. Again. Another movie, I don't know what the purpose of it was. Was it a horror movie? Was it a love story? Was it a, a I don't know. I don't Suspense. Know. I don't know what type of movie I was even watching. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched Eve's By You, to be honest with you. I've probably seen that when I was like 10, 11. That it's was been a long, long time. time ago. Um, and I'm going off of what I remember. I remember, uh, what's her name? Lynn Whitfield. Lynn. Yo, the wife. I saw Forever Classy. I saw a meme that said she may have played evil because she definitely was evil, um, but she never played broke. Yeah, My true. sister's ain't she never, ain't never been broke. broke. She always no movie. She was always that girl. Really? Yes, yeah. always that girl. She's she's got a classic, timeless she type does. of aura. She's she's dope. I like her. I like the. Don't get me wrong. I like the cast. The cast was phenomenal. Again, but Actually, the purpose of it's the writing of it that I just. Don't. I learned that Kiki Palmer actually went out for that role. Really? Of uh, the, that makes the, sense. What's that about the smullet? The little oh, girl. the little one. Yeah. Okay, she was funny in the movie though. I like. Yeah, her. so she Kiki Palmer said she lost self. out, but um, I like her as an actress. I like Kiki Palmer too. But 
Next point. Why can't nobody in any of these movies keep up with their bad kids? That little girl was running all over New Orleans. She could have got kidnapped, snatched up. She was everywhere. This was in like no, nah, bro. No, nah. where, 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 where your kids at? Why you over there getting pampered in that mansion? Figure out where your kids at. It's just the lack of lack of responsibility for me. I just couldn't get with it. Not the lack of responsibility. Yeah, for real. Like where was she? It's like at one point she was here, then she was visiting a voodoo lady. Get away from me! <laughs> Remember she told her in the. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. I just remember the voodoo. Like I can't even remember who she put the voodoo on. The dad was it? The dad? It was been a while since it's I seen it. But I, I mean, again, those are my reasons why I feel like Eve by you is a miss for me. I like the cast. The writing wasn't that all. I feel like it was too stereotypical. The setting was cool though. I like New Orleans. Love New Orleans. But yes and no for me. It wow. should be. It should be in the classic black movies. Wow. I know. I don't know. I mean, I kind of sort of agree. Thank you. It didn't make yeah. my list, but I kind of sort of agree. Like, Eve's Bayou was, it, it was, I wouldn't rewatch it, which is why I didn't. So, <laughs> yeah. I probably need to watch it again just as, as a grown up. But from what I can remember, again, because we're going by what we can remember. remember about yeah. The movie. So it's not like I just watched it yesterday. Like, I'm just going by what I remember. Yeah. And maybe we'll give it another round. Maybe we'll see. Maybe if we decide to do another series, we'll we'll do it again. We'll watch it again. But yeah, yeah okay. nah. All right, so let's get into mine. Do not come for me. Do not DM me. Do not leave me comments. Do not do any of these things, guys. This movie is straight up awful. Um, I don't want to hear your comments. I <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. This is my movie. How this dare movie, she? This movie is awful. It's Man. awful. I the, don't the characters, the, the actors, like in real life, the actors, I'm here for them. Like I love them. I think they're amazing. But as far as the story goes, the movie itself, it was awful. And I am talking about Love Jones. Do not come for me. I don't want to hear it, bruh. I don't want to hear it. Black hearts in the comments if you completely disagree with Tia because Love Jones is a classic. Love Jones is possibly the worst love movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was awful. Let's get into it, okay? The first, the first time he met this woman that he did not know whatsoever, he went up there and performed a poem for her, right? That's what he did. It's been a sexual about a woman he's never met a day in his life whose name he just learned is that not toxic is that not a red flag he went up there oh your aura girl i want to get to know they you, call girl. me brother to they the call night me brother to the night girl yeah that's it boy sit your ass down nah that's creepy <laughs> i don't you up there making a whole sexual poem about me and you just met me five minutes ago that's no, she didn't like it. No, she didn't like it. And I understand it was very stereotypical, but then she turned around and did another stereotypical thing you can write about love instead of <laughs> sex. <laughs> it's both stereotypical. What are you talking about? Like, I thought she was about to write down something cool. Nah, she said love, which I guess is in the name, but still, it's still stereotypical. Like, you can write about sex, you can write about love. Those are the most things that sells. So I'm like, she not deep. She not deep and he not deep. None of these people are deep. Absolutely not. And that mm. poem was mediocre at best. You are hating. At best. You are hating. On to point number two. My man's committed a federal crime. He, he did. looked at this lady's check, got oh. her address, oh, yeah. and rolled up to her crib. Unannounced, unprovoked. Excuse me. He, he wanted to holler at her. He was that's. I mean, that you gotta is, take some initiative. No, nah, that is not initiative. That is not initiative. He knew he was gonna see this woman again. He could have waited around, like have his homegirl at the record store. Hey, man, when she come back up in here, call me. Call me. Go back to the club. He could have did some digging around. Not show up to this lady house unannounced. That's some serious. That's exactly what happened to Diamond in the Players Club. That man stalked her and showed up at her house. That's how she should have reacted. She should have called oh. the police. She should have shot that dude. Ain't no way. Like, that's not romantic. It's not okay. It's not cool. Diamond, diamond. 
<laughs> exactly. It's not okay. Like, and y'all are out here romanticizing this. And when I say y'all, I mean you. I love the movie. The movie was terrible. Like, just showed up to somebody's house unannounced. What? That, okay. Problem. Problem. Come on now. Problem. And you know it's a problem. But they didn't have cell phones where you could just be like, hey, what's he up? Had, he they could, had to page each other. I gave you three examples of what other routes he could have took. I guess. Besides going to this lady house. And then she let him in. What the hell is wrong with you, girl? But I guess, whatever. Point number three I'm going to make. She turned around and got with his hating ass homeboy. <laughs> this dude. That, that's a character. That was a nah, bad character. Choice. That was a bad character. That was bad oh, writing. Or who? That was bad writing on the directors, the writers. That was bad writing. Nah. Because nothing about the character said that she was going to get with this dude. Nothing. Hold up. But do that not happen in real life, though? It happens in real life. Okay. That's besides the point. There's nothing about Nia Long's character that would have said she got with this hating dude. He Bill didn't really like love. love. He funny. He got person chicks, they, guys that's not necessarily cute, but they got great personality. That's what he had. He was a hater, and she would have picked that up. She would have put up one of her cameras, took a picture of this dude, seen his aura, and she would have been like, oh, no, nah, this dude a hater. Nah, man, nah. I didn't like it, and I thought it was lazy writing. I thought it had to put a plot twist in there just to get the character back in the scene. Nah, that was lazy. They could have thought of 10 other ways that she could have been reintroduced not to get with his hating. This dude was hating since was, day one. That was, I mean, that was a good angle, though. It was not. It was a I lazy was a, angle. I thought it was a good angle because it was lazy. People be acting like their friends ain't. Hating on them, and then it's, my man tried to get with his girl. People, be he doing didn't that. try. He did. People got, yeah, but he he didn't do nothing nah. with her though. It then. don't matter. It don't matter. It's an automatic no. It's an automatic no for me. There's for bad friends, as, and that's real. As homeboys, no, and and you no, absolutely. Yeah, you can go get with my hating homeboy. Like this dude been hating since day one. Soon, as soon as you well, came I, on the scene, well, he then was Darian should have got him out of being his friend. Then that's his problem. I'm just saying from a consumer point of view it was to me it was lazy writing because there's so many other avenues they could have taken they could have took yeah. and it was just that was just not yeah, one I, of I disagree too canvas and then this is my last point i know we only have to, supposed to do three but yeah. i got four because this movie is terrible the fourth point i want to make is that he immediately started smoking immediately what you mean me alone carried to smoke first of all no no was, it was the opposite she was no, no, she Nia was Long was Nia Long was not the smoker. Darius was the smoker. Oh, Darius was the smoker. And then Neo started smoking. Okay, so immediately she started smoking. Immediately. This dude was smoking inside. She was smoking inside. Everybody was smoking inside. Immediately. <laughs> immediately. Like they and another problem I had with this is that they did not specify the time frames. So it seemed like the whole plot happened within two days. Nah, nah, let I me, didn't nah, like I'm gonna defend that. Let me, I didn't like I'm gonna defend that, why? Because in today's movie, you be sitting in the movie three hours just to figure out that these people, you know they are gonna be together. Let's just get to the point. Let's just get to the point. I know, no, that's the no. In the movie, it seemed nah. like hour one, he met. Hour two. That's it. They got movie together. Done. Hour three. Nah. You didn't even stay up for the whole movie. I did not even watch the movie. <laughs> you until, I did not watch this movie to completion. To I did not. Because it was awful, guys. It was awful. Like, the time flow, it just seemed like everything happened within the same day. They got together. They had sex. He started smoking. She left. Got with his homeboy. They got back together. It just seemed like it was no no break. And so, me, as a consumer, I'm like, what the hell is happening here? Why is this happening so damn fast? It was it was Bro, bad. Because movies nowadays is three hours. It was bad. Ain't nobody trying to stay in the you gotta three have hours. You got to have character development. Man. Yeah, they all want a documentary. Ain't nobody trying to watch no dog on documentary. Ain't nobody trying to go to movies to see a little movie that lasts four hours. That movie, yeah, this nah. movie was terrible. This movie, it was terrible. It's my favorite. Movie. I'm sorry, it was it was terrible. It's at the bottom of the list for me. Wow, I would never watch this movie again. This is again. my favorite I movie. Love the actors. Can't go wrong with the writing. Wrong on any day, me no, alone. Really Rinse Tate. Can't go wrong with them any day. They still look good. To they still day. fine. Both still. <laughs> they still fine to this day. Almost. They still fine. So is. Please don't make a love Jones too. Please don't do not it. No, you can't because it's a classic. It's not a classic. It's just one of those. I think it's just one of the, like love and basketball. Like 
Y'all want so bad to believe in this toxic romance. And no, it's just I, bad. I was. You had some good points on Love and Basketball. I mean, if y'all haven't gonna watch our other ones, make sure you go check it out. You had some good points on that one. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. One. I ain't good, but this one. <laughs> you gonna write a poem about nah. a woman you just met talking about hey, man. sex. Man, people always want to nah. be uh, swept off their feet. What nah. would you rather do? Hey, what's, what's, she, name? what's the your zodiac sign? Nah. Okay, bitch, come through with the biggie lyrics. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> come through with the biggie lyrics. Okay. Nah, we ain't doing that. That's that's corny. Everybody do that. That was, nah. when last, ain't nobody talking oh, about that. Even he could have got up there and he could have freestyled the poem, which I'm assuming that's what he did, or unless he just changed the words it to just, whatever. Just, but um, he could have went up there and and said something else like, but this dude went straight to sex. Like, nah. Because in today's society, like, all he want to do is have, well, maybe in today's society, but a couple years ago, it would have been a problem. Like, all he want to do is have sex. I ain't with that. Like, nah. Because people be friends. Nah. And then they were smoking inside. You can't tell me they did not get lung cancer. Man, Neil Long is a smoker for real, though. I think she smoked cigarettes for real in real life. Not just a movie. Well, I don't know. She did that joint too smooth, too. I don't know. Cool. But all cool, I know, bruh. In long cool. Nah. She make anything. Movie cool. was awful. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Yep. Um, make sure you comment down below if you agree. If you disagree, let us know. Just don't come for me, okay? Black hearts. White hearts, if you agree with me. Eve's by you, I can I can give you that. Yeah. I, I can give you that. Love Jones. I absolutely cannot and will not until I roll over and give you that. Because you're toxic. <laughs> oh, thanks. Exactly. You, and you That's like a classic movie. And you like these grand gestures. Of, yes, I'm a romantic. Of foolishness. No. Like, I don't even think it's romantic. I think it's, it's creepy a sweet, as hell. It was creepy. It's it creepy. was creepy, but it's just creepy. It's like the movie in general, I love it. Anyway. Because it's funny. The movie's funny. It's about a good group of successful black friends. They wasn't even friends. Oh, my God. Like nobody in this group was friends. Oh, uh -huh, Sheila, Sheila was a good friend. But Sheila, one friend. Oh, enough. It was in the car. It just spoke to me. What the dick? Oh my god! Bruh. Man, you can't say. It. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. All right, guys. We about to go. We about because we. I can go on about this terrible movie forever. It's just so many, so many terrible lines. So many terrible. Whatever. We, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Make sure you comment down below and stay tuned. As Part always, three. make sure you do the L thing, which is like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.